It's uh, bright and early on a nice sunny day, and today's plan is to do a little bit of treasure hunting. Now this is kind of different for me because I am parked maybe 50 feet from the creek, and I'm going to be hiking up the hill and away from the creek. About a half mile up the creek, I know a flat spot on the hillside up here and there's not a lot of flat spots in this country. So my thought is, back in the 1800s, they were probably camping on that flat spot. And I thought today's a good day to go up there and just take a look around, see what we can find. Now it is spring and we've had a couple of warm days, so this is the worst time of year for ticks. So before I leave the truck, we're gonna get ready for the ticks. When you're spraying yourself down, if it's cold in the morning like it is now, go ahead and take your sweatshirt off and uh, hit everything and then go ahead and put the sweatshirt on or take the can with you. Because you don't want to get in there and get warm and pull your shirt off and then you're unprotected. Okay, I think we're ready to do a little bit of hiking. Okay, well, we made it in. What I'm going to do right now is just kind of take a walk around and see if we can find anything on the surface. You know, just before we even turn the detector on, just kind of get a feel for the area. And the, the ground not going to change, you know, in the last 150 years, basically. So what I look at is if I was going to camp here, where would I make my camp? And that's the area I kind of want to start looking at and then uh, work out from there. Okay, let's uh, take a lap around, see what we can find. Now, I'm not too sure how well this is showing it, but you can see right here, 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 we have an old bottle, all green glass, probably an old, uh, um, beer bottle or a uh, brandy bottle but it has definitely been broke right here so this is a good indication that there was someone here now what we're going to do we're going to just kind of look at the ground in this spot there's more glass and uh, see if there's any more trash just on the surface. Okay, I don't see anything. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the detector and kind of work this area because this looks like a good camping spot right here. And there's a few areas like right here it looks like it's been dug out. You know, this area right in here is uh, another piece of glass. Now this is different. Okay, what we have here looks like a uh, old bitters bottle. Let me show you this. I don't know how well that's showing that, but you can see the writing on there okay well i'm liking the start i'm gonna grab the detector and let's do a little detecting see what we can come up with
obvious, we got targets everywhere. Luckily, I threw in a super big magnet today, so it'll help clean up some of these iron targets. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pick an area, grid off a, like a four foot square, and then we're gonna dig every single target in that square and just get an idea of what's in there. So I'm gonna start in this area where we found a lot of that glass. Okay, now, inside this square, we're gonna attack and dig every single target. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take our super heavy magnet and put it on top of my rake. That way when I scratch the ground, if there's any nails or anything in the ground, it'll grab them. Okay, let's uh, do a quick detect here. Okay. Nice large iron object. Let's see what it is. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, it says it's down there. Whoa. An old knife. Doesn't look too sharp, but uh, still got the handle on it. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's check see if that's all there was. Yep, that looks like that was it. Okay, moving on. That's... According to that, it's right on the surface, but I'm having a hard time finding it. Up oh, there it is. Chunk of wire. Okay. Okay, moving on. Okay, that's another target right here. Yep. Another piece of wire. Well, it sounds like it's right on the surface. Another piece of that bitters bottle. Yep. An old square nail. Something pretty large right there. I don't know what that handle off of something. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what that is. Definitely was a handle on something at one time. Looks like it's brass. Okay, put that in the pile and move on. Finished up that square, and what I ended up with, handful of square nails, our knife, our handle, and a bunch of wire. Okay, now I'm gonna bury everything up in that square, move over and do another four feet, and we'll just keep doing that, see what we can come up with. Well, I've been at this for several hours now. I'm getting ready to break for lunch. And lots of square nails, a lot of wire. It's all the same type of wire. It kind of got me curious, but chunks about that long with the ends curved. And I don't know if they had them on buckets at one time or what, but I've found probably half a dozen pieces like that. But a couple of things of interest I did find is an old uh, sardine can and part of an old uh, clay pipe. Now let me show you on this sardine can, you can see, you can see right in here where it's been soldered. 
and how thick it is. You can tell this is an old can. At one time, it had a brass label right here. And then this pipe, this is an old clay pipe, They're usually white. Wipe it off a little bit and you'll probably see it. But uh, that's kind of interesting. Lots of broken glass. Uh, nothing even close to a whole bottle yet. But I'm going to have some lunch. And after lunch, we'll jump back on it. Finished with lunch, and after lunch, I did a, a little hiking around here, and this, right where we're at, is actually the best looking spot. There is an area over here, I don't know, 50, 100 feet, that uh, they were actually doing some mining. They were piling up rocks here. So I'm gonna go over and take a look at that real quick, and uh, if there's anything interesting, we're gonna move, move our base over to there. Well, after searching around over there a bit, all I found was a broken axe blade, a bunch of barrel hoops, uh, no glass, no uh, um, what you call camp garbage. It was pretty much all just industrial stuff. So it was stuff they were using to, to dig that area out. And I even uh, did a little, little nugget hunt and hoping to find what they were digging, but no luck. Okay, well, we're gonna go back over here to where we were before. We only got a, another hour or two so we'll go ahead and uh, continue our search, see if we can find any more cool stuff. Well, I just finished two more sections, and uh, I found this. I took the, the brush and uh, my drinking water and washed it off the best I could. It's got a design in it, really kind of cool looking. See if I can uh, get it to focus on that. There we go. Kind of a cool looking design. I'm not really sure what it is or what it was. And the other thing was I found an old brass shotgun shell. Now, I've found a few of these over the years, and uh, I can't remember when they were making them. I'll have to look that up when we get back home. Okay, well, we've got time for one more area. I'm going to go check it out. Yep, looks like we've got us a square nail. Square nail. I'm getting beat, getting late, and I think it's time to pack up and head for the truck. I did find one more uh, really cool thing. It's a uh, something bottling company, San Francisco. It's an old stopper, but it had a uh, a piece of steel in it, and the detector picked it up. Okay, well, I'm packing everything up, heading for the truck. I'll see you back at the house. Well, made it back home, and yeah, it's the next day. Well, what do you say we uh, take a look at the treasures now that I got them uh, somewhat cleaned off and uh, laid out where we can actually see them? Okay, first up is our shotgun shell. They started making these in 1860. And then our bottle cap, I'm still uh, working on the info on it. And the uh, lid off the tin, I still think that's really interesting design. And I cannot believe the condition that the handle is on that knife. The pipe, well, it's seen better days. And they're pretty common. Now this item, I still have no idea what it, what it was used for, but it was definitely some type of a handle. And after looking at it closely, the top has like a latch where you ran it with your thumb to clip onto something. Um, I'm going to do a little more research on this one. Well, those items, you know, they're basically they're worthless. But to me, they're priceless because they, they afford you the opportunity 
to look up the history to learn something about the uh, the old mining camps and stuff. Um, you know that handle. That handle really intrigues me. I'm probably going to take that up to the shop and sandblast it to uh, get a better look at it. But it was obvious that thing had a uh, clip on the top where it clipped on something. And who knows? Was that an early uh, um, setup for camping gear where that one handle fit several different pots? Um, the other thing is that, that fancy lid off that tin. You know, what are they doing with a fancy lid up there in the old mining camp? You know, they didn't pack anything in there that they didn't need to survive. You know, supplies were difficult to come by. And yes, they did, you know, on rare occasions, uh, they did get luxuries, you know. I imagine it was a pretty rough life and, uh, you know, like a bottle of brandy, I'm sure, helped a lot. But generally, the stuff that they had in those camps is stuff they needed to, to survive. And this is what intrigued me, the stuff that they got other than that to you know, make life a little less miserable. Now that the beer bottle, that lid on that beer bottle, I've put a link below on the information I found out about it and also on the shotgun, uh, that shotgun shell, there is a link below to the history of shotgun shells. And to me that's the whole point of hitting the old mining camps is to learn the history and the more you learn about history, the more gold you're going to find. Uh, you know, they, they go hand in hand. If you enjoyed the video and you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, if you click on the little notification bell, uh, that way you'll get notified when I put up another video. Okay, well right now, I'm going to clean this mess up, get my gear all put back together because uh, I'm going to try to sneak out again tomorrow. Uh, I had a little too much fun today and uh, I'm wanting to go back. So, till then, you guys have a wonderful day. showing it but uh, there's part of that old uh, bitters bottle um, we got some aqua colored glass we got some uh, dark beer bottles